Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I'm just checking if I'm live. I think I'm live on everywhere in the world. <laughs> All right, so today we are going to be discussing um, how you can build a meaningful acting career. Um, so it's a um, dense topic, I think. It's an important topic um, because it's talking about your career and about it being meaningful. And so maybe before diving in, I would love for us to make some distinctions about having a career or having a meaningful career. And so you may have already um, seen a lot of people have acting careers, having successful acting careers, and um, them being unfulfilled, uh, not to judge it, but the, them sharing how unsatisfied they are, how much pain they're in, um, how actually we've seen this publicly for some um, very well-known artists who are deciding not to be part of this life anymore. So you can have a very, very big career um, and therefore um, you can think that there's a lot of success from the outside. And yet if people are being very unhappy or feeling a lot of pain and are deciding to actually uh, not be part of this life anymore, it also means that um, a big career doesn't mean that you are actually having the success that you may have been looking for in this lifetime. So I think it's really, really crucial to make sure that you're having a meaningful career. Um, because the reason why you may have a career and have it not be meaningful is because you're born in a world where you're being told what to do from the first day on, uh, you know, in your family about how to think, how to feel, how to behave, how to speak, how to eat, when to eat, etc. And then you go to school and you're also told in order to fit, you have to behave a certain way, think a certain way, feel a certain way. Um, and therefore you're being used and told and trained to always um, do what you're told rather than honor who you are revealing yourself to be, who you are discover discovering yourself to be. And so um, very often, and we have a lot of, um, you know, high level working actors who are moving into our community, they're working all the time, but they start working with us and resetting themselves because though they have a big career, they are feeling a lot of pain. They are feeling a lot of dissatisfaction and then not being fulfilled. They're suffering when they're acting. So that means that their acting career is not meaningful. And the reason why someone might be experiencing a lot of pain and no meaning when they're acting and when they're having big success is because they've been so trained to follow what they've been told to do, um, how they've been told to please, how they've been told to behave, how they've been told to be liked, to be good, to do things right, to do things a certain way that have that has nothing to do with who they truly are. Well, you end up maybe getting some material stuff, accumulating some stuff and some success and some titles and some money, but yet you may not actually um, be experiencing any fulfillment because you're not full of yourself. You're not actually in yourself. You're being what everyone's told you to be, but you're completely empty. You're like an empty shell. And so you cannot be fulfilled with your own experience because you're not having your own experience. You're having the experience that you were told to have in order to be loved, in order to be safe, in order to be validated. And, um, and you were told that's the that's the way, that's the only way, that's the way to be happy, that's the way to do things right. So um, there's a lot of people who are actually ending up having careers and those careers are not meaningful to them and so they end up in suffering. So it's really crucial for you, no matter where you're at um, in your acting career, whether you're starting, you haven't started, you're in the middle of it, or you're you know, um, having a lot of movement and a lot of work happen, you wanna make sure that it's meaningful. And so what does meaningful mean? Um, I think it's a, and also a good, to, a, a, an important um, distinction to make is we might think that meaningful 
there's also a right meaningful and a meaningful acting career should look like this or should be about that and there's again a lot of obligations and shoulds it should be this it shouldn't be that it should be this and a meaningful acting career is only going to be meaningful to you meaningful is not something that is true for everyone it's just got to be meaningful to you it means it has to fill your cup it has to make sense for your heart it has to make sense for your heart it has to be worth the experience of your life but it doesn't mean it will make sense or it will be meaningful for your neighbor or for another actor or for another director so again in traditional conditioning in your education you've been trained to believe that there is one right way and that you should always do it the right way in order to be liked or else you know or else you're rejected or else you're punished or else you're humiliated and the the thing is that for you to have fulfillment for you to be creative and for you to actually have a meaningful experience for you and for the audience that will watch the story and the character that you're defending it has to make sense for you so having a meaningful career means that you actually know what meaningful would mean to you and usually when people start moving into our community they don't really know what's move meaningful for them because again you've been trained to follow you've been trained to fit you've been trained to behave to be appropriate to be right to look good to be liked to please but you haven't been ever encouraged to be you away from the shoulds away from what people think away from what people say would be the right thing or would be the meaningful thing when have you ever been encouraged in your education at home or at school or in college to actually just have your own experience and do what feels that it's working for you usually the standards to touch um boxes to tick um some successful person says this is meaningful or this is important and therefore you're trying to do what they are saying is important right so it's really crucial um whichever stage you're at in your life career artistic career to actually make sure that you're aligned with what's meaningful to you and in order for you to know what's meaningful to you you have to be able to connect to you to to be connected to what you're sensing to what you're feeling to what is really happening inside of your instrument inside of your emotional body inside of your soul and style of inside of your spiritual experience the problem is that you've been raised educated you've been wired and programmed to actually disconnect from your experience and to tune into what people expect of you so that you would again remain safe and loved and validated and so when it comes to let's say you would sit down now at your desk and say okay yeah i get it i want to have not just an acting career but a meaningful acting career you might sit in front of a white page and actually not really know what meaningful means to you and that's okay it's great for you to realize that you have no access to what would work for you because since the very first day since your very first young age you've been asked to disconnect from you in order to satisfy other people's expect expectations and so the work to be done for you to have a meaningful life for you to have a meaningful artistic career is to actually reconnect with who you truly are away under far from your conditioning your programming your education all the shoulds all the ob obligations all the it would be nice to or it's important to behave this way or that way or to do this or that just to be away from all of the culture of society of conditioning of what your even your relatives think that you should be doing or you should be feeling or you should be being right so the work we do in our community is to first and foremost start spending some time with making sure that we create a structure and some practices that enable you to reconnect step by step with you and that means also first 
working through those learned behaviors that have nothing to do with you, working through your resistance, your programming, your mask, your social habits that have nothing to do with the truth of who you truly are as a human being, but are just coping mechanism, learned behaviors, conditioned behaviors that have nothing to do with your essence, right? So on one side, we start helping actors undo that and work through that conditioning and that fake you, that mask, that's not really you. And on the other side, we have practices that help actors actually wake up their instinct, their freedom, their truth, their soul, their heart. So that little by little you can, like let's say if you were born this way and then you were asked to behave this way so that you would satisfy everybody else, look, so you're always spinning out of control. What we do is we help you to undo that habit of spinning out of your axis to progressively get reacquainted with your truth, which is right here in the middle. Right? So progressively, we undo the habit that loops around like this and we wake up this guy so that you can come together, so that you can land inside of your body, inside of your soul, inside of your heart, inside of your emotions, and that you can first and foremost get yourself back, get your life back, get your feelings back, get your sensations back, get your intuition, your instinct back, get your freedom back, get your truth back. So we're not teaching anything, but we're helping actors first start here. From there, when you're actually 100% present, fully alive here in the moment, you're actually showing up, you're actually here, you're actually connected and aligned, then you can start making some choices about what is actually meaningful to you. What is important for you to put out there? What is important for you to defend? What kind of stories, what certain aspects of the humanity of the characters that you'll defend do you think is necessary to put out there so that it does what you would like to do and offer and service the rest of the world, right? So the the servicing, the offering of yourself, the meaningfulness of the outcome of your work can only come after actually you, you know, re-entering home, re-entering your instrument, your body, your soul, your your entire envelope, like you being in there. When you do that, then you can start making the choices that are meaningful to your heart. When you make those choices, those choices are meaningful to you as a true human being. If they are meaningful to you, they become universal and they can start to relate with other people in the audience. And then you can have a meaningful impact, right? The opposite of that would be to never actually check in with yourself with what's meaningful to you, to just keep following what people are telling you to do in acting school or, you know, to try to copy this or that person had, that had some acting success to just replicate what they're doing. And so you're never actually in in the program. You're never, really, never actually showing up into any of those jobs, into any of that success, into any of your life, into any moment. And therefore, you're having stuff, credits, and maybe even money, and you're, you're not in it. You're not enjoying it. You're not participating in it. And therefore, you're not impacting any full, anyone. So it's not meaningful to you. It's not meaningful to the characters. It's not, not meaningful to the story. And in the end, it's not meaningful to the audience, right? But in order to be meaningful to the audience, in order to have meaning in your life, it has to start by actually getting that meaning back inside of you. Right, you can actually bypass yourself um, and try to impact meaningfully your audience without actually showing up yourself. So I hope that that makes sense. Um, that you're the raw material of your entire acting career. You're the main ingredient, and if you're going to bypass that, you're basically not going to show up anywhere. Um, so I hope that this makes sense for you. Um, and that you're understanding how that can impact um, everything that you do when you show up in meetings, in casting director, um, encounters, networking, agents, auditions, all of that, headshots, real, um, all of it. Um, I'll see if there's any questions. Nope no questions for today but feel free to send any questions we also have a great um free training for you guys 
It's called Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor so that you have a chance at being great. Um, and you can find that in the link in the bio in Instagram, or you can find that in the about section on Facebook. Um, if this really resonates and you want to dive deep and fast, get in touch with us, send us a DM, let us know that you want more information so that the team can connect with you and see where you're at and what your specific needs are in order to have a meaningful acting career. All right, you guys, well, thank you for today. Happy Monday, happy beginning of the week. And I will see you Wednesday for a fun testimonial and interview of an actor. All right. Thank you. Bye.